was one position shy from taking the EVO Championship last year, right about and that. that is Mr. Bon Chan. He lost to Luffy right at the end he there. He was in the winner's bracket. Dude. Yeah. That was insane. And he's going up against uh, No Slouch here. This is a very strong Bison player from San Diego, SD Pinoy. He has definitely done a lot of damage at smaller events like uh, Southern California Regionals, upsetting a lot of players, so you cannot count this guy out. Very solid Bison player. Yeah, very true, but you know Bon Chan's gonna be coming in here with something to prove. Like you said, it was two last year. He was number two, mm -hmm. but it was out of the winner's bracket. I don't know how often that's happened in a yeah. final uh -huh, that the true, guys true. come from losers and won that. So Bon Chan yeah. is definitely gonna smart still a year later, and he's gonna want to do himself one better. Well, there's only there's only one way to improve <laughs> compared to last last year's results, and that's to take us all. Oh, that beefy stand fierce counter hit. I like that setup. Slowly by slowly pushing Bon Chan into the corner, but you know one of the things that you know if you've watched a lot of Bon Chan matches, Bon Chan. Definitely not a player to even really worry once he gets to the corner. Yeah. He's fine being there. And on the way there, he's done a great job of measuring the distances to, to lessen the threat of the scissors kicks. But he goes for that jump after the double scissors kick. And you know Bison always wants yeah. the head stop after two scissors in the corner. That's the counter to jumping right there for Bison. So great start for SD Pinoy. And a great start here. Focus dash through. One of the fastest dashes in the game. And Bison can get through the fireballs and punish a lot easier than other characters off of the focus. Oh! oh good stuff from Bon Chan with the counter. <laughs> Doesn't even deal with the head stomp shenanigans. Nope. Oh, but there it is again. Focus dash through forward. Nice block by Bon Chan. Seen that trick before. Okay. Trying to find his way in there. Trying to... Oh, that was so sick. Yeah, yeah that's punishable. EX scissor kick, very punishable. But then a great throw from SD Pinoy. Slowly by slowly, trying to get Bonchan back into that corner. That's why you see Bonchan. Yeah, see, you see how much Bonchan tried to get out of there. Yep, two the jumps. Yeah, two jumps in a row. Oh, no, he what? missed the uppercut! Still gets, there. Still there. Oh, that's, that's punishable, punish. yeah. And that actually happened after the death. So he gets to keep all of his meters. Oh, that was just a style, stylistic FADC. <laughs> I think he knew what was happening there, courtesy yeah. FADC. Bone Chan, if there's one place that Bone Chan wants to be, it's throwing fireballs. He loves to get himself into the whatever the safe position is against your character, throw fireballs, and then make you react. And that's what makes it a little tough, is that if Bison is charged up, right. the EX Scissor can get through there pretty easily, exactly. and then the Focus Dash, we, as we've seen a couple of times. Yeah, he's not a character that has a ton of trouble dealing with fireballs. That's why Bone Chan's forced to clear even more space for these fireballs, but they're less threatening from that far away. All right, so Pinoy trying to apply that scissor kick pressure. Oh, last time he challenged after the EX Tiger Knee and he lost, he still goes for it and comes out ahead this time. He's doing a great job of guarding the skies and keeping Bone Chan in the corner. He got impatient, crossed him up in the corner. Mm -hmm. Look at the lead, James. Yep. Ends up losing that position and now, oh wow, nice dash forward from Pinoy. Now he's going to be able to get some offense going here. Cole, Ooh. gutsy slide, but he had the FABC available. And another still if he wants it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, and he does challenge. He should awesome. be able to take it off of that. SD Benoit taking game one uh -oh. off of Bonchan. Uh-oh. He might have to make himself an upset. Daigo's taking notes. Daigo's taking notes. <laughs> Very tough position for Bone Chan. I mean, look, we just talked about it. He came in the Evo last year, got second. That's not a small amount of pressure coming yeah. in this year. I mean, even if you don't get second, no, you want to make it through pools. Cool. Yes. You don't want to yeah. go down game against, <laughs> you know, a so Cal Bison that you've never heard yeah, it's, of. It's no a, disrespect to SDP, no, he's playing yeah. very well. A lot of people don't, I mean, if you're not familiar with double elimination brackets, mm -hmm. if you start a tournament from loser's bracket compared to winner's bracket, you yeah. tw play twice as many matches. Yeah, pretty much twice as many matches. Right. The, the, early, the earlier you lose, the more you have to play. Mm -hmm. So, uh, comparatively, you'll have to play twice as many matches as somebody if you make if you lose first round. Yeah, so it's very important to go through winners. It's a much easier easier, you know, quote, easier route. Uh -huh. Obviously, the people you run into are also winners, so they're probably very strong players mm -hmm. as well, but 
Pinoy taking it directly to Bonechan, and he's still falling back to this fireball game. It's not really getting him anywhere. At one point in time, I remember even though he finished second last year mm -hmm. after Evo, a lot of people were saying Bonchan might be the best player in the world, uh, constant training partner with Daigo, but since then, his performance hasn't been as Whoa, strong. Nice and he trade. gets the, the combo. combo. Yeah, I like to think of Bonchan as a. Uh, He's Topanga's Frankenstein, you know, like they, <laughs> they download or they upload all of their data into him. But uh, it looks like they didn't have any cheats on Ooh. Pinoy. Speaking trade of trade combo. combos. Oh, oh, he chased him down. That's, not enough. Him. That's not enough. Oh, he oh, just no. gets out of there. No just punish. gets out of there. It's but a sliver. Don't but don't. this is not a position for Sagat to, to excel in. Mm -hmm. It's so scary. All right, Pinoy needs to just chill. He, he needs to just chill. He needs to just chill. The guts from Bone Chan to toss these fireballs. He wants to defend. Oh no! And a wow. bad neutral jump from wow. SD Pinoy. I think he caught on and he said, if you're not going to respond to the fireball, then I'll just keep throwing it, man. It's live or die right now. No fear from Bone Chan. Yeah, great, great clutch. Clutching that one out for Bone Chan. It's right back into Pinoy's world. He's cornered. He's got meters. Bone Chan with the EX knee to get himself out. Nice jump. And this is the combo. Back to the middle. This is exactly what he needs. Take some meter as well. Goes for the frame trap, but Bonchan blocking. He's he's seen it now. He's seen it now. Pinoy needs to go to more throws. Oh god, that low strong off of that. option select so cool. It's true, but I mean he would love to hold on to that meter if you're not gonna get the hit. Wow. Look up with the jabs. I know, there is some guts right there. Bone Chan putting everything on the line right now. Ooh, he got in there with that low short. Didn't convert. Wow, let's just go meaty. Oh, just and then do a wake it. up uppercut. Just do oh, it for both of them. Bon Chan looks to be simplifying things a little bit. Going for just a DP when I think you're going to hit me. I'm going for a jab. Not too much of things here. Trying to slow things down, rein things in yes, a little bit. Yes, yes. And look, here you see Esti Pinoy calming down, looking through some notes perhaps. Bone Chan just look at his notes just now. I saw it. He looked over at his notes. He's looking at his notes. <laughs> like, hmm. Trying to spy what over do you there. Have there okay, turn it over. Turn it over. You know what I would do? I would write fake notes <laughs> and then like let the opponent look over at wow, him. Wow, James, your that meta, the meta game. game. There you go. Jesus, that See, is top. Tier. I would have it so it'd be like versus Saga, jump a lot. Safe, you know? yeah, yeah, it's like uh -huh. safe jump, fierce. Yeah, after this, and it's totally not a safe yeah, jump. Exactly. He's just scared. <laughs> good stuff, good strats from the James oh, Chen, man. the OG. <laughs> Gotta take every advantage you get here. Dude. <laughs> dude, you got it, man. That's, that's deep, man. That's insightful. Bon Chan, last year's second place finisher at EVO 2014, mm -hmm. up against SD Pinoy, who took the first game here and giving him a run for his money. Back to the fireball game, familiar, comfortable fireball game for Bone Chan. Established a little bit of a, a life lead, but Pinoy cuts through it with the dash and the, the scissors kick combo, and we're cornered again. So much of this matchup has been played right here on the left side and of the screen. you saw right there, the last couple of times Bon Chan did the EX Tiger Knee, he lost to the challenge of SD Pinoy's low short. Right. So that last time you saw it just happen, he just blocked the low shorts. He was ready to block it. Now that's become a key moment. Oh! Ow! Oh! oh, the counter He's, He got the read. He says, Pinoy's saying, Bone Chan, you're not going to DP. You, have two, you don't have two meters. You're not going to DP. I'm going to press all the buttons that I want. Bone Chan doesn't want to take that risk. He's in this position where he might be just a little bit afraid. Yeah, but unfortunately, that was a W combo, so it just didn't do a lot of damage. He right still got to clutch us out. No standing roundhouse anti-air again. He's really scared to get there. Too far for Bon Chan to link after that step kick. Just trying to chip him out. Looking for the neutral jump to top, stop the scissors kick now. Okay, gets in. Oh, he Surprise, goes but he doesn't have the meter for the FADC. Oh, no! And he chases him oh, down! Chan! Chan with the clutch! Pinoy went for it, and Paul and Chan said, nope. One step ahead, and the full punish on that one. This is Bone Chan. And let me tell you right now, I said after that EX Tiger Knee, 
he got challenged, and I said it's become a key moment. Right. And you saw that's exactly what happened there. He did the EX Tiger knee. He remembered that all those situations that came up beforehand, and he knew that SD Pinoy countered with low short every time. And it was counter hit damage for him. So he got the uppercut this, that time, and that's exactly what he needed. Still back to the fireball game. Got to mind, be mindful of the meter, but Pinoy standing up, letting go of the charge. Bonechan responding in kind with the fireball. Oh, Pinoy with the full meter here. Ooh, nice shimmy. Yes. Good stuff. Oh, what a oh, forward the dash. Bonechan! Wow! Bonechan! What a wow. counter! What a counter! Let's go! Oh, he went for the throw! Are you kidding me? How did he mistime that? Look, a meaty throw beats a wake up low short, Every but time. he just mistimed it or something it happened. It was a frame early. It was a frame early. <laughs> and Pinoy still alive after that immaculate counter from Bone Chan. Pinoy, a huge meter advantage. Bone Chan now fighting his way out of the corner before he gets there. A lot more ag aggressive game in this last round. Yeah, Pinoy has to calm down just a little bit because he's going a little too aggressive. You see him trying to walk really far for the throws without really any precedent for setting that beautiful, up. Beautiful, he can't beautiful. forward jump over those tiger shots, like I said. Yeah, Stop. there's the challenge the right spacing. there. Spacing, he's adjusted the spacing, he's figured out the matchup, and it's looking like it's gonna be Bone yeah. Chan here. Very bad situation for... He can throw it. He can throw it. Uh oh, he came back in. Oh, nice try there with the focus. Yeah. Oh. Looking to bait something big. Bonchan's not going to let that DP rip. There oh, it is. and then he goes air to air. Smart stuff. Bonchan going to take it over SD Pinoy. Great effort from SD Pinoy, though. Yeah. You took the first game. That's huge. Yeah. You know, and really took it very solidly as well with yeah. some really great play. But you can see what happens. He won that one, and then in the second game, mm -hmm. it felt like he probably should have taken more. He might have been able to take that one. Bonchan with those great clutch recoveries. Yeah. That gets in your head. Oh, yeah. And then what ended up happening is that third game, you started to see Esti Pinoy crack a little. That's true. Made some bad decisions. That's true. Went for too far walk up throws, jumped forward over right. a fireball, which he hadn't done the entire game. So, yeah. In those first couple of games, we saw a lot of uh, Bonchan. He was eyeballing the charge. But in a lot of moments, he wasn't able to really keep up with it, right? right That's why he right. got hit with those uh, head stomps mm -hmm. and such. Uh, in the third game, kind of slowed the pace down a little bit, was able to keep a much firmer read on the charge. And then it was SD Pinoy who wasn't really recognizing right. that now Bone Chan is recognizing your right. charge, right? Right. So that's yeah. why uh, uh, he was running into more fireballs. Mm -hmm. He was getting more uh, anti-air.